In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a smooth and professional text animation in Premiere Pro. To get started, I just added a video clip to my timeline along with some text on the track above it. Alright, let's begin by selecting the text clip on the timeline and going over to Effect Controls. In here, expand the text settings by clicking this arrow. Move the time marker to where you want to start your animation on your text clip. I'm just going to move it to the beginning of mine. Then drag the position's value to move your text to where you want the animation to start from. I'm going to move mine just off screen on the left side. Click the stopwatch next to position to create a starting keyframe. Next, move the time marker to where you want your text animation to finish moving by. Then change the position to where you want your text to move to. This will automatically create a second keyframe at the time marker's location. Okay, this works fine, but I also want my text to leave the frame after a set amount of time. To do that, I'm going to position my time marker to where I want my text to start leaving the frame. Then click the diamond between these two arrows to create a keyframe for the current position. Next, move your time marker to where you want your text to finish moving. Then change the position to where you want it to move to, which will automatically create a fourth keyframe. Okay, and there I have a simple text animation, but there's a lot we can do to make this look more professional. Drag to select your two middle keyframes. Right-click one of them, hover over Temporal Interpolation, and select Continuous Bezier. Now doing this will make things a little smoother, but let's make it look even better. Click this arrow next to position to expand its settings. Make sure your two middle keyframes are still selected so you can see their blue handles. Under your second keyframe, drag the left circular handle down and to the left to create a ramp like this. Then under your third keyframe, drag its right handle down and to the right to create a ramp for the ending part of the animation. Okay, and now when I play this back, my text moves in and out smoothly with some acceleration from my ramps. This looks good, but to make our text look even better, let's add some blur to it by going over to the effects panel. Type directional blur in the search box. Then drag the effect onto your text clip on the timeline. Make sure your text clip is selected on the timeline and go back up to effect controls. If you're moving your text horizontally like me, under directional blur, change the direction to 90 degrees. If you're moving it vertically, 0 degrees works fine. Now move the time marker so that it's over your first keyframe for position. You can just use these little arrows by position to move the time marker from keyframe to keyframe if you find that easier. And I'm just going to minimize the source text stuff so that I can see my directional blur and position keyframes at the same time. Now click the stopwatch next to blur length to create a starting keyframe. Increase the blur length, I'm going to set mine to 30 so my text starts off blurry. Now let's move the time marker to where your position's second keyframe is. Change the blur length back to zero, which will automatically create a second keyframe so your text isn't blurry by the time it stops moving. And I'm also going to blur my text as it moves out of the frame by moving the time marker to my position's third keyframe. Then next to blur length, click this little diamond between the two arrows to create a keyframe for the blur's current value. And finally, I'll move the time marker to my position's fourth keyframe and change the blur length to 30 to create a fourth keyframe which will make my text blurry as it moves off screen. Okay, this blur looks decent, but it'll look even better if we ramp the blur animation in the same way we did with the position. To do that, I'm going to drag to select my middle two keyframes for blur length. Then right-click one of them and select Continuous Bezier. Click the arrow next to blue length to see its handles and lines. Now drag your second keyframe's left handle down into the left to create a slope similar to the one you did for position. Keep in mind I'm dragging the handles for this top line, not the bottom one. Then select your third keyframe and drag the right handle down into the right so that it's similar to the position slope on the other side. Okay, and that's all there is to it. When I play this back, I have a smooth looking text animation with blur in Premiere Pro. Thanks for watching and see you next time.